So for our initial Flask setup, there's four things we're going to do in this initial tutorial, and that is to install the Flask package, to adjust PyCharm a little bit to make it easier for us to see. We're going to then create a basic Flask app, and we'll follow up by building two routes, or uh, we're going to view them as pages for now, for our app. So let's see what this looks like. We last got up to this stage, and we're going to begin by closing this application that we've just started here, which is just a basic Hello World, and the way that I do that is by going File, Close Project, and then I'm going to create a brand new project here. This one I'm going to name Flask, um, just as a basic start. I'm going to hit my drop down here and just confirm that I'm creating a virtual environment and that I've got a base interpreter created. I'm then going to click on Create, and it's going to build the environment for me. Once we're at this stage, PyCharm has a really comfortable way for us to go about importing or installing a package. The way that I do that is I click on File, and then I go to Settings. Within Settings, there'll be a whole heap of options here. If I uh, come down here to Project Flask, this will just be named whatever your project is called. I can hit the drop down here and then click on Project Interpreter. You'll see that it just comes with the regular uh, packages that come uh, with the uh, with a regular program that's pip and setup tools. I'm going to click on the plus here, and I'm going to do a quick search for Flask. There should be a whole stack of these available, but the one that's just generically called Flask is the one that we want. I'm going to click on Install Package, and then I'm going to give that a moment to install. Once it is installed, you'll get your response here to tell you that it's installed. I can then close that, and then I can hit OK. And this means that Flask has now been installed here in my project. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a basic Python file. And to do that, I'm going to right click on my parent folder here, just called Flask, hover over New, and then click on Python File. I'm going to call this one Starter and hit Enter. Now you may be familiar with what we've previously done, which is just to create a basic Hello World app here that we can run and will appear here in the terminal. Uh, what we're going to do is something that's slightly different when we go about building our Flask app itself. Before we get to that stage, it's worth pointing out that uh, we do have a couple of problems here, and that being that firstly we're in a common theme here called Darkula. Um, I prefer the Monokai myself, so we're going to do a quick change on that. It should make it a little bit easier to read. Also, this font is quite small for you guys to be reading, and therefore I'm going to go about adding that, uh, editing that rather. PyCharm gives us lots of great options there. The way that I get there is I go File, Settings, and I uh, click down here under Editor, and I've got an option here for Color Scheme. Within Color Scheme, I'm going to change my Darkula to Monokai. This is entirely up to you as to which version of uh, which color scheme you would prefer. I, again, prefer Monokai myself, so I'm going to hit OK. I think that it makes it a little bit easier to read. I'm also going to go back and go File, Settings, and this part's optional for you. It's more so that it's easy for you guys to read. Here under Font, I have an option to change the font size. I'm going to make this 18 instead of 13, and then I'm going to hit OK. And hopefully this is now much easier for you guys to be reading. So from here, we're ready to begin building our Flask app. To begin, we're going to wipe everything that we previously have. As common with most packages, we're going to need to import the content that we need from Flask. So we do that by saying from Flask, import Flask. Now, a couple of things to start off with. Firstly, you'll see that the package's name is lowercase, uh, but what we want to be using the component out of this is uppercase. So just make sure that you get the case right on these. The next part that you'll notice is that this comes out gray to start with, and that's because we aren't uh, using it yet. The third thing is the PyCharm community will offer you very handily, hey, why don't you upgrade to PyCharm Professional because it has really good options available for using Flask. We're going to ignore each one of those uh, simply because we are going to stick with the free community version. Now, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we're creating an app. So we're going to declare a variable here that's going to be just called Flask, and it's going to be called name. So we have an app here that is calling on Flask, and it has this modifier here, which is two underscores name, two underscores. Beneath that, we're going to uh, go about initializing our app. And what this means is we say if name is equal to main, then I want my app to run. Now all of this is just boilerplate code that you don't really need to worry too much about, just as long as you know that it's there at the start and the bottom of your program, this should be all good to go. The key part that we're going to want to make sure that we get right is actually creating our, our routes. So what a route is for us is effectively a URL, an address that we're going to be routing uh, our user to when they go to it. So the way that we do this is with a particular function. So two parts to this. What we're going to do is we're going to create a homepage function here. 
that accepts no arguments. And what we want this to do is we want to return hello world. So hopefully you're familiar with Python enough to know that, hey, this is a function that you can call at some point. And if I were to go about typing in home page or calling this particular function, then I'll be able to call it and it would return uh, hello world. For us, we want to do this slightly differently. Flask has an option called a decorator here, a, a modifier. And what we want to do is we want to create a uh, route for our app. And the way that we do it is with this at symbol, app.route. And we want to just create it as um, just the default URL for now. This decorator here is associated with this function here. Now, it seems like not a whole lot's really happened here. We've got 10 lines of code, but this really is the base or the core of what we're going to be doing here with Flask. To the extent where if I now right click and hit run starter, it's going to give me a couple of bits of information here. Uh, the most important thing is this URL. If I click on this, this is just the local host, you'll see that I get to hello world. What this is doing is it's routing to whatever, um, whatever we told it to route to based uh, according to this decorator, it's going to call this function, which is going to return hello world. Just to show you what this would look like if we were to build multiple routes, we can build whichever ones we want here. Now we could build an index page here for what we want. We're going to call it index page. This time we want to return, this is the index. And the way that we would run, uh, would access this is we'll go right click run starter. If it says, hey, you know, you've got two running going, uh, going on at once, you can just hit stop and rerun. It's going to wipe our past version. Then I can click on this again. And whereas we now have hello world, if I now put backslash index afterwards, it'll take me to whatever I have built underneath that route there. This is the core of Flask in terms of building routes and being able to um, route content to your user this way.